Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from EzraAutomation.com and welcome to another video of our Getting Started with Bash in Linux Operating System video series. And in this video, we are going to talk about an introduction to piping and redirection in Bash. So first of all, let's understand piping a bit more in detail. So as you can see, piping is a way to redirect the output from one command to another in Linux operating system. So here the redirection can happen uh, from a standard input to a standard output and the standard output can be another command or it can be a file or it can be a process. That's how the piping happens. And one of the most important thing to remember while working with a pipe in Linux is that the pipe actually flows from the left to right. It won't flow from the other way around. And it's not like a bi-directional, it is always like a unidirectional. So that's how the piping work in Linux operating system. And there are two types of pipelines available. One is the named pipe and another one is the unnamed pipe. The one that we are going to be discussing in this particular video is actually the unnamed pipe, not the named pipe itself. And the next concept that we're going to be discussing is the redirection in bash. So how the redirection really happens? So if you can see in Linux, the redirection is a way to redirect the input or the output of command to a file or another command. And the symbol that we use is the greater than symbol and uh, less than symbol. So the greater than symbol is mainly used for the output redirection and the less than symbol is mainly used for the input redirection. And we'll be talking about that in a minute. But as you can see, this is one of the simple use case that we can actually choose over here. So in this example, as you can see, there is a standard in uh, will actually wait for you to complete the input from the terminal until you type the end and the redirection of the output happens to a new file.txt. So as you can see, the cat symbol is actually uh, to, to, to denote that it is a cat operation that we're going to be doing. And it is going to be doing a redirection to uh, a new file using this uh, greater than symbol. So it is basically an output redirection. And there is going to be two uh, input redirection symbol there. And it is going to be waiting until the end is being typed in the terminal command. And I'll show you how it actually works while we see in the demo really. And the next operation that we can actually think about in terms of the redirection as well as the piping is that you can see that here, I have just mixed both the redirection as well as the piping together. And that's how we actually end up using it quite a lot. I'm going to be doing a listing of all the directory. And then I'm going to perform a cat operation where I'm going to store all the file listing into that particular new text.txt file. So this is how I do a complete file listing, pipe it out, and then I do a redirection to a new file. And similarly, I can also do an echo command to do an uh, text echo, which I can then do a pipe to a cat and then redirect to a new file. So you can see that I can also take a command input or a command which I can really do a pipe and then I can also do a redirection. And you can see that this time the cat actually has got two greater than symbol which means it is basically an appending operation. It's, it is not just like a text create operation there, but it is going to be an append operation. That's when you use the two greater than symbols. That's how you actually do it. And there is another example that you can think about is the Firefox grep operation that we did. You remember in the PS hyphen AUX, that's how you do that process. You pipe it out to a grep like filter to get what exactly that you're looking for. And you can also do something like a bash terminal itself to be uh, redirected to a new text file and I will show you how it actually looks like. So you can completely redirect your bash into a new text file and then you will see whatever that you have typed and the output that, that is actually been coming out. You're actually completely removing the std out of the bash to a new text file direction so that there won't be any value being printed into your terminal. And I'll show you how it actually looks like. And the final uh, operation that I'm going to show you is this one. So you can see that this is a bit more uh, complex over here, I'm actually doing a cat of the password and I'm also going to do a ls hyphen l. So basically there are two commands that we are actually doing in a compound. Uh, that's why there is a parenthesis there. And then I can do an output to an output.txt file. So basically this is like a compound command that we can do and then we can output to a text file. So this is another way of actually doing it in the bash, uh, which is gonna be very, very helpful as well. So as you can see, the piping and redirections are quite a lot that we use in bash. And this is some of the most important concepts that you need to be understanding. So let's see everything that we have discussed so far in a demo right now. 
So the first operation that we are going to be doing over here is I'm going to be doing a redirection to a new uh, text.txt. And even before I do anything further, if I just do a cat and then a redirection to a new text file.txt, you can see that the prompt is going to be waiting there for me. So what it basically tells is that it is going to be waiting for me to type something there. So I'm going to say, I am going to type something, something like that. Right. And if I do this, you can see that whatever then the next operation that I do, it is just going to keep printing something like that. So how do I get out of this particular operation, like which is the cat operation? Basically, you need to do the control C over here so that you can force exit out. But this is not how you actually do with the user interaction, right? You have to wait for a certain keyword to be entered so that it can come out of it. And that's when you're going to use that to input symbol with the end operation there. But before we do that, let's see what is the content of the new text.txt file right now. So I'm just going to say cat of the txt or sorry, the new txt.txt. And you can see that we have this particular type, uh, this uh, text being typed over here, right? And there are some spaces because we have the spaces over here as we have typed. So let's say if I wanted to do this, but I wanted to wait for an end to be typed. So I'm going to do a cat of the uh, greater than symbol just for the output redirect. Uh, and over here, I'm going to hit enter. And you can see that right now the prompt is waiting for me to be typing something there. So I'm going to say uh, this is going to be my new text. And then I'm going to type an end here. So once I do an end, you can see that the prompt actually gets me out of it without any control C operation that I do. Now you can also see that there is going to be a uh, greater than symbol here, which is mainly telling you that it's waiting for you to type something there, right? So now if I just do the cat new text or txt, you can see that there is going to be a text for me coming up, which is great. And you can see here that my old content is completely gone. The reason being, what I'm doing is I'm going to do a output redirect, but every time I do an output redirect, it's going to be doing or creating a new standard output to that particular file. But if I wanted to do an append operation, then all I have to do is I'm going to do this cat double greater than symbol there. And then I'm going to say new text dot txt. Uh, and then I'm going to do an end operation here. This text uh, is going to be appended, something like that. So if I do something like this, and then if I type any end, and if I do a cat, you will see that this text is being appended to the next line. So this is how you do the append operation using the cat, uh, using this particular uh, double greater than symbol there. Cool. So now that we have got some idea of how that we can do this redirection operation, like input redirection, as well as the output direction. So let's do the exact same thing with the piping operation that we learned in our slide there. So what I'm going to do is, so if I just do an ls hyphen l over here, you can see that I have get all the uh, files over here with all the directories being listed. I wanted to print this value into a text file. If I wanted to do that, all I'm going to do is I'm going to do this ls hyphen l and then I'm going to do, sorry, and then I'm going to do a pipe there. And then I'm going to say cat of file list dot txt, something like that. So now that this is going to be that like, you can see that the standard output from the terminal has nothing to be printed out because the LSF and L should have printed out something, but it didn't. The reason why is because this LS hyphen L output is being piped to a cat. And the cat should have at least printed that into the standard output, which is nothing but the terminal, but it didn't because this particular value is being redirected to a file list.txt file. So that's how you can see that from the pipe all the way to the cat, and then from the cat, it is redirected to the file list.txt. That's how you see that the bash is going to do things for you. And now, if I just do a cat of file list.txt, you will see that the whole text content coming in from the ls hyphen l there. So this is how you do the redirection as well as the piping. And the next example is if I wanted to do an echo, uh, I am going to be uh, redirected as well, something like this. So this echo is going to, going to print everything that you type. But this time I'm just going to uh, do it with another 
um, echo text dot txt something like that so now if i just do a cat of echo text dot txt you will see that this value is been redirected as well so this is how you actually do it so not only the lsi fnl but also from the echo that you can do it and the similar thing goes with the process as well if you remember in our last videos we discussed about this uh, process operation with the process hyphen aux uh, if I hit enter, it's going to show you all the different process that is available. But right now, let's say if I wanted to uh, redirect uh, to grep, where I'm going to search for the Firefox. And if I hit enter, it's going to show me the Firefox if it does exist. So it's going to be showing that for me, which is great, right? So you can do the kill operation if you wanted to and all those kind of stuff that you can do basically from here. So basically, you can also do this and then you can supply a p kill operation with that particular uh, particular process as well. So this is how you can keep piping it out. So this is how we do all the pipings and stuff. The last operation that I'm gonna be showing you is the compound uh, piping operation or the compound command operation in bash, which is very, very helpful. All you have to do is you have to use the parentheses over here and give a space because if you put the parentheses and a command near there it is gonna the bash is gonna think that you are trying to do a special command operation so you have to do a parenthesis and a space and after that you actually have to do something like ls hyphen l semicolon there i'm within the semicolon after the semicolon i'm actually uh, going to do a ps hyphen aux for example just saying right and i wanted to print this particular output into uh, process and directory dot txt something like that i'm going to create this right so now if i just do a cat of the process and directory dot txt you will notice that it is going to do the whole operation for me in one single file so it is going to take this command and also this ps hyphen aux and it's going to redirect both of them together into this process and directory.txt for me, which is cool, right? So it's going to be doing a compound operation for me. You can actually use this in many different scenarios while we actually write the shell scripting, but I'm not going to talk about that yet because we are not there yet. We are still making our foundation stronger. So once we are fine with our foundation, we are going to talk about that later point of time. The last operation, even before I completely forgot that to uh, discuss about this, is the bash operation. If you remember, if you have typed this bash and if you have hit enter here, something like this, you will notice that you are basically in a new terminal altogether, new bash terminal this time, not in the other bash terminal. So if you try to do an exit, you actually came out of the bash that you just typed. So now if I do an exit over here, you see that the terminal is completely gone. Basically, uh, you have exited from the main bash terminal. But uh, in reality, if you type a bash, it is going to create a new bash for you over here, right? So now let's say if I wanted to output all the commands that I'm gonna type in a new bash uh, into a text file. So I'm gonna say uh, probably new bash.txt, something like that. So now if I do an ls, you will see that it actually doesn't print anything in the standard output, which is in the terminal because now all the outputs of the bash itself is redirected into a new bash.txt. And now if I type a uh, ps hyphen aux, nothing is gonna come up. And ps hyphen aux of the Firefox, sorry, grep of the Firefox, nothing is gonna print out as well. And if I do a history, uh, it's not gonna print out anything. So now let's say if I exit out and if I try to do a, uh, let's say, ls hyphen l or whatever, you'll notice that it is printing everything for me because we have exited out from the bash that we are trying to do a redirection to a new bash.txt file. So now let's say if I wanted to see the content of the file that we have actually created using the bash. So I'm just gonna say, new bash.txt and you will notice that it is going to print the whole lot of operations that we actually type you see that the first ls hyphen l operation uh, and then we also do the did the process operation so that is also coming up for us over here and then we also did a process just for the firefox i remember we just searched for the firefox so it's printing it as well and finally there is going to be a uh, 
actual uh, history that is coming up for us in that particular batch. So everything is actually being saved into this particular, uh, what is called as the uh, text file because it has redirected the output first. So this is how we can actually do the redirection in the bash using piping as well as redirection. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and hope you have understood how the piping as well as the bash redirection works.